This morning we're going to load up a cow and take her to the butcher. We've got to put the ball hitch on the Super C to hook up the trailer. Got to have coffee. Camera coffee and shifting steering wheel. It's a lot to do with two hands. Hey ladies, where is she? Right there. There she is, out in the yard. Come on in. Oh, you've decided you don't want to go in, huh? Come on. Come on. Turn your head around. There you go. In you go. You too. We got special help today. This is my daughter, Gray. the opposite right because the gate has to fold this one has to fold out that way yeah and then we've never loaded out of this pen before so this is going to be a new experience i think we have a plan though just at this angle okay and then close the gate against the side of the trailer all right set come on bean yeah, you stand there and block that exit. Come on. In you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. In you go. Good job. Cattle are so much easier than pigs. Oh One less cow to feed that'll feed other people instead. Until last night, we thought we were taking Sammy the steer to the butcher, but Sammy's awful light, and Hillary and I had the same thought process yesterday, which was we should take one of the cull cows because there's more beef there, and we don't have another one going until February, unfortunately. Isn't there the Boy Scout Code of Conduct with, like, nine points or something, you know? Yeah. Well, doesn't that include giving yeah, somebody the finger? Some people don't. It goes <laughs> all the way down, then it would be middle. This is not a middle. People, you did not flip off your Yes, I am clarifying that I did not. <laughs> Gotta fill out the pen card, although the butcher really doesn't need them, I don't think. Back. Connect it up to the controller and code it in a bot that strip mines. It's not hacking. We don't need that much for beef. Only once in a great while with a steer. Ah, this hitch is kind of a pain to get off. You guys want to taste me. So to load out pigs, all we do is back the trailer up like you see, break the fence and tie it to the trailer, and then open the doors and feed them out of it for a week. In this case, they're going in seven days. And then on the seventh day, when it's time to go, we just close the doors right after we feed them.
what you want. Goofballs. You're goofballs. I got nothing for you to eat here. Dad cut the forks off the loader and welded the quick attach box to it. The box had some issues out of the box. The levers didn't work right and I had to grind down some parts and move some washers around to get the levers to work right. And then he cut the tabs off the old bucket and welded the receiver plate onto that. A few of the pins on the loader are missing the cross pins that hold them in place. So I'm gonna implement a timeless farmer fix here. <laughs> Don't worry, this is just temporary till I go out and buy some pins that are the right diameter and then I'll fix it the right way. But as you can see, I'm following a time-honored tradition. We gotta tighten up the axle bolts because remember we left them loose until it settled in. This bugs me too. I got a leak on the second hydraulic cylinder, I believe, although it's hard to tell where it's exactly where it's coming from. You can see it there. It's leaving a spot on the ground. Old tractors are like babies. They leak everywhere, but they don't make diapers for tractors, so I'm going to have to chase it down. I'll have to wash it off with the pressure washer and then see where it's leaking from, but not today. Check the oil, which is considerably more complicated with a loader. She's good. Check the hydrant. Hear what the tractor running on these hydros. She's low. Not surprised. This is what bugs me about this bucket, the way it goes on, is it doesn't dump as far as the bucket on the 504. That's the limit right there. And when I'm up high, it gets worse. When I'm all the way up, I can't really dump at all. I'm not sure why that is. I thought about changing the geometry here, so we got one pin up here, but there's an option of two different holes down in the bottom. But if I put the, the lower arm down in that pin, I think it would make it even worse, the way I understand the geometry. So. I'm just going to have to see if I can live with it and if it'll still work all right. The thing that compounds it is when most you buy pre-made buckets, most of them have a slight slope this way on the back side where the quick attach goes. So it's going to make it even worse to try and dump it. Let's go and see how she works, huh? Also, what do I think of it? I, it certainly is a lot more powerful than the 504. And as you can see, it'll pick, pick up a heaping bucket with no problem. The 504 wouldn't do that. It works slower than the 504. Raising up is slower. And I don't know, I sized the hydraulic valve correctly for the flow on the tractor. It's a 14 GPM valve. It's just a slower loader, I guess. And it seems to dump okay. I was worried about that. So it's going to work great. I plan on getting a wider bucket for it. This is a six foot bucket. I want to get a seven foot bucket so it tracks just outside the wheel. So I'm happy with it. It was a lot of work, but it was worthwhile. Hillary and I got the chicken house done yesterday, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. We got metal on the bottom. No rats can chew through that. And then we've got plastic, and this is the wiggle wire here. I was worried that the wiggle wire would be a pain to install, but it was easy. We did it first thing in the morning before there was any wind, and we just temporarily secured two of the corners with a little chunk of this and stretched it out, and I, it looks so much better than it used to. Here's what the inside looks like. Concrete floor, steel sides, Plastic top, lots of sunlight in, lots of solar heat in the winter. We'll warm up that concrete slab. We'll bed it good with wood chips. I still got to figure out the roost. 
and I'm not sure what to do. I want them to all be at the same level so that I don't have a lot of competition between the birds for the highest roost. And I thought about putting bars straight across here, but the issue is whenever you're in here, you're gonna have to crouch down like this to walk, which is kind of a pain. So now my thinking is horizontal bars every one foot or so, but make them so they lift up and out easy. So if you gotta get back in, you can just lift them off and take them down to clean or whatever you need to do. I'm hoping that rats and weasels won't get in here this winter. Hillary and Gray and I are gonna start taking down the pasture furniture, the turkey ark and the broiler boxes for the winter. Of course, these guys can't resist an opportunity to come yell at us. Patty. That's Patty, the herd boss, right there. Whoa and misery. What are you doing in here? Free range chicken? Out you go. There she goes. Well, that's a start anyway. Yeah. There she is again. Yeah. You get around. So now that Bean's at the butcher, I need to uh, email the butcher her cut sheet. And this is the cut sheet, it's the butcher's cut sheet. Um, just in summary, this is the way we always have beef cut and we have all of the organ meats saved. They sell well in our area. We have the premium steaks cut, you know, like sirloins, um, T-bones, porterhouses, rib steaks. But the only roasts that we have done are chuck roasts. They sell really well. Uh, we don't do the rump roasts, the, the eye round roasts, the bottom round roasts, the top round roasts, the arm roasts, the Boston roasts. Those don't sell. So they make really good ground beef and the butcher cuts in enough tallow where it has a good fat percentage, about 85% lean. And um, the other roast is briskets and those are, that's our standard cut. Afternoon chores and this is how we feed the pigs out of the trailer. We got this handy door here. They're a little confused right now about where their dinner is, but pretty soon they'll come in here and eat out of here. Maybe we can entice them a little bit. Guess he's got better things to do. Right? Hmm. Tonight for dinner we're having our own ground beef, delicious, on the grill, and a central New York legend, Hoffman's Coney Dogs. Another beautiful sunset. Weather has been awesome. Forgot my tongs. I got like my burgers rare and my hot dogs burnt. Yeah, 
We always like to finish a busy day with a great meal. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.